We did nothing wrong, said former CEO of Nissel Winston Blassington, shortly after posting $6 million bail, while former finance minister Dr. Ashney Singh said the charges have no merit. Singh said he has no fear of his work as finance minister being subjected to the ultimate scrutiny. We did no wrong. The evidence speaks for itself. In time, I believe we will be vindicated. Let me go further and say that what we are witnessing is rule by innuendo, insinuation, fear and intimidation. That is what we are witnessing. Rule by insinuation and innuendo. All manner of innuendos have been uttered and repeated. All manner of innuendos. For example, that Attempts have been made to contact Brassington and Singh since 2015. Both of us are on public record as having had our lawyers writing the relevant agencies to say, in the event you need to contact these two gentlemen, we are their legal representatives, you may contact us. And no attempt whatsoever was made to contact them. Singh and Brassington walked calmly into the courtyard as supporters stood outside with placards to lend support. The men appeared before Chief Magistrate Anne McLennan to answer to the charges of three counts of misconduct in public office contrary to common law. It has to do with the sale of lands to National Hardware, Multi Cinemas, Guyana Inc., and Sade Business Corporation without having procured an evaluation of the property from a competent evaluation officer. The lands are located at Lindendal, Patterson, and Turkheim. The prosecution requested two weeks' adjournment for the Administration of Justice Act to be applied, which will allow the men to plead to the three charges. The matter was adjourned until June 5th and the men were released on $6 million bail each. The men were then handcuffed, passed through the chute and placed in the holding cell as their bail was being processed. Attorneys for the men, Stanley Moore and Andy Nandalal, said the bail was too high for their clients. Uh, the next step is that these parties will have to scrape the barrel, seek assistance to raise the sum of $6 million each in order to post bail. That sum is a very large sum, but the magistrate has exercised her discretion and that is where we leave the matters for the moment. If you wanted them to prevent them from traveling, then you should have perhaps remanded them or take their passports. But to impose a punitive sum as bail is tantamount to refusing bail. Former presidents Sam Hines and Donna Ramatar both said that the men have done nothing wrong. We asked Mr. The President People, Morris Odell, Mr. Heath London, Mr. Horace James, at PU Nissel, what are they doing today that is different from what was done then? What are they doing today? I would say they're even doing more risky and controversial things today. What is taking place here is the fact that we have had this experience before and we're going down the same road and where it is heading for it's the economic and social ruination of our country and the total undermining of our democratic and constitutional institutions. That is what we see, the beginning of what we've seen taking place right now or what we just witnessed here. After bail was posted and Singh and Brassington released, both briefed the media. Brassington said he was never served a summons, but he came voluntarily, while Singh said the former PUP government has no difficulties with their period in office. Singh and Brassington are said to be living in the United States and made the journey to answer the charges. One of the forensic audit reports on the operations of Nissel suggested that under the former PPP administration, Nissel engaged in a number of malpractices and had made poor decisions on behalf of the people of Guyana.